The digital revolution is just a communication. And why should not a little brand producing 5,000 kilo of the best cheese in the world, why wouldn't they use uh, the digital world? <laughs> On the contrary, they should do it. Entering the di digital world has not only the advantage uh, to reach a huge population, but it has the incredible advantage to reach the new customer. A small brand can communicate and can get in contact with the world if just you have something interesting to say. Internet and hip hop both started out like the wild, wild west, but they're coming under, they're, they're becoming gentrified. A luxury brand not wanting to be associated with hip hop is making a mistake because right now, hip hop is no longer the music of the lower class. What you just said for music is exactly the same uh, for uh, football. Football <laughs> is not anymore just a popular sport. <laughs> Some people believed we were crazy to enter this sport. You're saying that you will be happy to allow a consumer to reinterpret your design in a customization form. Yeah, absolutely. Is it impossible to think that one day we'll see a Hublot smartwatch? <laughs> From the today's point of view, I cannot see that. Why? Because if you sell <laughs> a watch at the average price of 25,000 euro, and after one year, it's obsolete. A mechanical watch Timeless. is a piece of eternity in a box. If that's true, how can I produce something that is obsolete in 12 or 18 months and that can never be repaired in 10 years. What's cool about Fashion Genius and the work that you guys did here today on the site is that this is gonna be up forever. It's not like a tweet which is like a fart in the wind. It's here for one moment and it's gone. Yeah. It's going to be here for aliens to read when they land and they're analyzing us.